Good morning, Ali. Here's your machine. Your Braille Grease Express in Cranberry Red. As you saw in the photos, the machine is in pretty good condition. Um, just finished the service last night, changing the group head seal, doing all the cleaning procedures, uh, etc. Uh, in this video, I'll be making a full coffee, so grinding, brewing, and steaming. Um, so, being a used machine, of course, it, has do it does have some wear in there. So, a couple scratches here on the front, a few nicks at the, on the back. A bit of wear on the buttons, I couldn't really, I didn't want to scrub them too hard. There's a bit of, the, oh, I don't know what to call it, like a bit of haze on the buttons. Um, but no, like big dents, nothing really major. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I like to begin with warming up the machine and my cup. So I would get my, um, my takeaway mug and brew some hot water. Just a shot of hot water, it's going to warm up the porta filter, it's going to warm up the cup, and of course, the internals will be nice and warm as well. Alternatively, you can leave it on for about 10 or 20 minutes and it'll also warm it up. Do that once or twice. The water was a bit dirty from the previous coffee. And now it's much better. Um, that aside, put it on top here. Uh, I'm gonna add some beans. So the machine comes with only the basic accessories, not the whole lot. Uh, that's why I'm selling it a bit cheaper. Basically, you're getting all the essentials: so the port filter, tamper, uh, and the double basket. So this will take about 17 grams. This is the pressurized double basket, so the double wall double basket. There's also three other types of baskets that probably includes with this machine. Uh, my uh, recommended would be either this one or the single wall double basket. Uh, this one will be easier to use, e easier to use than the single wall, but will be harder to clean. So I guess it's, um, it's a preference sort of thing. And this one takes 17 grams of coffee approximately, so I'll try to get that. Um, Grind size is at number six at the moment. The finer you go with grind size, the slower the coffee will pour and the higher pressure that you'll get. Um, and the larger the grind size, the quicker the pour will happen and the lower pressure that you'll get. So I think grind, I made a coffee last night on grind size number six, it was all right. See how much we get. That's the first dose. It's pretty quick. Eight grams. So if you do that twice, you should be getting 18, 17 grams. Uh, sorry, 16, 17. My recommendation is you only grind single, tamp, then grind again rather than going for the double all the way. Let's increase this and see what we get. Second dose done. Hmm. Yeah, so probably better to leave it at the 11 o'clock, otherwise it will overfill the port filter. Okay. 
the tamper. Press it nice and firm. And then, just make sure it's nice and even. So I'm, I've confirmed with my scale that this is 17 grams indeed. But if you don't have a scale, we can just look at the depth of the tamper. Make sure the silver part disappears. And that's about 17 grams on this on this basket. Um, it's a nice, nice easy way to know. Make sure you clean the edges. Lock it in. Just in the middle position is fine. Um, I'm gonna empty this water. You also have a hot water tap here. So if you want to convert your espresso into a long black coffee, add some hot water. I'm gonna reset my scale. Oops. I've uh, left the uh, the actuator open halfway, so it's purging a bit of water into the into the wand. There we go. That's better. Uh, what's next? Yeah. So next, I'll be uh, obviously bring the espresso. I'll be. Changing the volume of the button, usually for a factory it's a bit too low, so I'll change that for you. So to change it, you press program, and then the button that you want to program, you want to program the double. We want it to give, it, give us about two centimeters maybe of coffee. I'm also going to time it, you don't have to time it with this sort of basket pretty forgiving. Nice one for pressure. And I'm going to stop it right there. That's 20 seconds. So usually I would say 20 to 30 seconds, 25 would be best for a double shot. In this case it was running just a little bit too quick. Actually, uh, not too quickly. We only got 33 grams. I was aiming for about uh, 35 to 40, um, so that, that's pretty good, uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy with that. If you want, you can grind one number finer and see what happens, but of course your beans will probably vary from mine. I've got the Aldi back beans set up, so, don't, so these settings aren't 100% applicable to you, uh, they just put the machine roughly in the right ballpark so that when you receive the machine, you don't have to tinker around too much uh, with the settings. But yeah, that was a good shot, like, I think. Uh, that was good pressure, good flow. Uh, 20 seconds, not too bad. Um, so I'm going to leave the settings as is. Uh, but if you want the taste to be a little bit stronger, grind one number finer and try again on your beans um, and see what happens. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to get rid of the spoon. Cleaning, so... You uh, I would recommend cleaning it quickly rather than waiting till the next session to get the port filter out. And then, if you have a knock box or a bin, just knock it hard until it falls off. The coffee that is. There we go. Then there's usually a few, a few, um, a bit left, a few chunks left. Just give it a good rinse. This rinse will rinse your shower screen and it also rinse your pore filter. And for extra cleaning, walk the pore filter in and it'll actually flush. It'll pressurize with this sort of basket, it'll pressurize until it's empty. And then flush. So that'll flush your valves 
and it'll clean this a bit better with the pressure applied. That's about it for the coffee. Next is the milk. Turn on the steamer. Usually it takes about 15 seconds to start pressurizing. You have to learn the technique. So I'm using my own jug here. Uh, the, the machine doesn't come with a jug, unfortunately. Position the jug at an angle and try to keep the milk spinning. Turn it off. Keep the tip close to the surface for the first 10 seconds or so. Turn it back on. You'll know, the pump will sound a bit louder when it's dry, but don't let it get to that stage. A couple seconds doesn't hurt, but... Um, I usually recommend having a look before you start making coffee, having a look at the site to make sure you have enough water. Anyway, continuing with the frothing, keep the milk spinning, keep the jug at an angle, and keep the tip close to the surface, and then... 10 seconds later, I'll raise the jug so that the tip isn't at the surface. Uh, we don't want to give it too much froth or too much bo too much air, otherwise it will be too thick for us. And then now it's just spinning, no more aeration. Uh, the aeration only happens when the tip is close to the surface. If it's, deep in, if it's deep into the milk, it's not giving it any air. So now it's just spinning it, and then if it's too hot to the touch, I'll turn it off. When it's too hot to the touch, usually it's about 60 degrees. You don't need a thermometer, but yeah, by feel usually it's quite consistent. Then the machine will enter, uh, will leave the steam mode and go back to espresso mode. It will automatically purge uh, the boiler. So now we're ready to make another coffee. Really, really good milk. I'm just gonna swirl it around to mix it up. And if there's any air bubbles, I'm gonna knock it on the jug and knock it on the counter to break break those and then I'm gonna pour. It's really good milk. Um, you could do latte art with this machine very easily. I'm not very trained. I'm gonna do this sort of as a hobby. I do the repairs as a job, but not the coffee. The coffee is my hobby. <laughs> um, so we don't always get good patterns, but the milk looks really smooth. Um, like with any manual coffee machine, you're able to um, achieve sort of silky milk like this. Um, I forgot to say, the next thing I want to do is clean the, the wand. Very important to always uh, purge and clean the wand right away. So purge meaning turn it on for a second just to, before letting it cool down even actually. So once you take out the jug, uh, um, just turn it on super quickly to purge steam through the wand to get rid of the milk inside just like that, literally a second and then I'm going to turn on the hot water tap that's a little trick, turn on the hot water tap and then that'll soften the milk and then it's super easy to take off with a wet cloth towel Uh, that's a coffee on the Barista Express. And your Barista Express looks really good in red, I agree. Um, my mom always tells me to keep the red ones. I tell her I would if it's not sold already. <laughs> um, anyway, hope you enjoy. Any questions, please don't hesitate. Thanks for watching.